just about to finish this month, and our theme this month was the manifestation of the sons of God. Manifestation of the sons of God. And that's where I want to, to share with us this morning a few thoughts, because that is what everyone is looking for. Romans 8, verse 18 to 19. Paul says, For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that will be revealed in us. For the creation waits in eager expectation for the children of God to be revealed. If you read that two verses and you are a Christian who wants to go to heaven, you desire you go to heaven immediately. I wish it can happen. You want the, the manifestation of God to happen quickly so that Ishida is they have put some sense into us. Of course, you and I know there are also crooks that have joined them, and the crooks are after your property. They will harm you, they will steal from you. But the young people have their own, own right. The politicians want to dandia the same. This is not what I prepared to say, but as I speak, some thoughts come. Although President Ruto one time told someone not to sympathize with him, he knew what he was getting into. Inside me, it's like there are some things that were not revealed to him. It's like when you get married, there are some things that are not revealed to you. You know? It, it, it is not revealed to you that what the preacher would say, your wife will take it literally. You know, men, we don't want to be possessed. But a woman from the pulpit, you become a part of her. Actually, there are some of, some of them would say that God gave them a baby that is old enough to be a husband. So when, when you think about our country, there are things that the president had no clue about. He never thought this thing would happen. And it has told the nation, if, whether you like it or not. Anybody who is in business knows that. That it is like there is a standstill. So I'm saying this so that you can pray. That the government will hear what the young people are saying. And also, wajaribu, um, to balance. I, I know this, this is not hidden. What I'm saying is open. So it's very dangerous nowadays to say whatever you say. But I will say it anyway. I'm a kikuyu. Did you know that? Oh, okay. I thought I'm telling you for the first time. Having almost six kikuyus in the cabinet of 11. No, I'm just saying. I, I, I'm just saying, you know. Yeah, I'm just saying. Whether you tell me one is from Kirinyaga, the one is from Moranga, the other one is from Rakuru, the other one is from Nyandarwa, the other one is from uh, 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 Meru. I mean, we, to say me ukweli, mulwa. Uwezi kuniambia kuna mukamba wa makweli na wa masako na wa kitui. Mukamba ni mukamba. I say. Ati uwezi kuniambia kuna mjaluo wa migoli, 
kuna mjaruo wa Homa B, kuna mjaruo wa Kisumu, kuna hawezi niambia hivyo. Unaweza niambia hivyo? Wakisema erokamano wainya, wote wanasema hivyo tu, waise. Hiyo nimewachia hapo. So the question that we are asking ourselves is when we're talking about the manifestation of the sons of God, do we wait until the Lord comes? I think the question should be, can the sons of God even now arise? What's the difference? What's the difference? What is the difference? Somebody goes to parliament, he's born again. Within a very short time, he becomes a multi-billionaire. He doesn't know even where the money has come from. They become so proud. At Mushipi Nua, 50,000. Tell your neighbor, 50,000 Mushipi. Say. That's not what I'm preaching. I'm just saying. Because I'm a Kenyan. Mulwa. Garia, 60 million. Iko. Na inaendesho na wanaume. Iko. Sio wengi. Lakini iko. You know, I was so amazed one, one politician telling a poor person, hebu ni kuue ulipwe. I wanted you to feel that way. Alafu ukija kuchaguana unasahau. Kura yako hata ufikiri uulizi huyo umetoka wapi? That's not what I was planning to say but I say it anyway. And I will still be your pastor, won't I? So when we are talking about the manifestation there is it's like you're looking at a revelation you are hearing what God is saying, but there is the now and the coming one. There is the now and the future. The manifestation has a now and a future. And the powerful one is the now, not the future one. Kwani ni kifufuka Yesu ataka pokuja, nitasaidia mkikuyu na mnagani? Nitasaidia mkenya na mnagani? So some of their waiting that the people are waiting for is not the future manifestation, but it is the Christian manifestation now. Sema amen. Oh, kumbe nikikwambia unaweza sema. Si useme hata kabla sijakwambia then. Because if you get the point you say amen you encourage me. But I want to thank God for you and your family. Why? Because uh, Psalms 124 is true for us that God has been on your side because if God was not on your side let the righteous say the Lord was on my side. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I am here today because the Lord has been on my side. So I congratulate you. I praise God on your behalf. Every time I come and I see you, I praise God for you. Because there are some last Sunday who are here, but they are not. So when I see you, the remnant of what God is doing. And I pray that within you, the manifestation of the sons of God can be seen in you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I hear somebody asking, where is Alice? We have changed or exchanged. Now I'm here. She is there. But it is not the right thing. Nothing shall separate. Nothing shall separate. <laughs> now that's on a light touch, eh? Because ministry calls us and we will minister. The manifestation of the sons of God. Remember, the devil has missed you several times. Several times COVID came, the devil missed you. Several times there was an accident there, the devil missed you. Yes, there was some chaos, the devil missed you. And we tell the devil he's missing us again because the Lord is going to bless us and minister to us in the mighty name of Jesus. So it, the, we are waiting for that manifestation, earnest manifestation of the sons of God. There are many examples that I'm going to use, and the first one is the example of a caterpillar. 
a caterpillar breaking through the cocoon to emerge as glorious, beautiful butterfly. What it does, it overcomes the force holding it down for a glorious display of the power and the beauty of God. You know, the other day I was thinking, actually it was yesterday I was thinking, Uyu kuku na amefunikwa kwa mayai. No, I was eating an egg, a boiled one in the morning. So as I looked at it, I ate it. Kini nipoigonga hivyo, nikafikiria. He inazanga kakuku. Ni kweli? Kakuku hako kanakuwaga na afya kakiwa ndani. Na hakuna hewa. Kena tuwaga hewa wapi? Sijui. Nikijua nitakuja ni kuambie. But, kana piga hiyo mayai, mbaka ivunjike kapate hewa. I say, hako kakuku. Hakana nguvu, lakini kata piga piga mbaka ifunguke. Katoke. Na kakitoka unona kameji enjoy. Kwanza kana jirivaliva. Uto tumabawa toaka kutudogo tudogo ambapo watujakua. A cocoon there, a butterfly in a cocoon, nikitu kama hiyo too, but it breaks it. And the more it breaks it, the, the, the wings become stronger. Kwa sababu sijaona ka butterfly, kamegonga cocoon kanaka pale kakiuliza, how can I fly? Ukusha kaona? Kanagongaga, kanatoka shwa. Jana tu nikafikiria. Ngombe anazaa. Aise? Akizaa kakitoka kanatoka kamekimbia. Aise. Ni jana tu. Nikakumbuka katoto kakianza kutembea vile mama anafurahi. Ai 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 anakawacha ana kwanza anaenda mbali kana kuja kana kuja anakawacha kana kuja kana. yani mama unaona yule yako na raha sana ni mama lakini kakishajua kutembea alafu unataka kukabeba kanalia kanataka nini kakishatembea kamefikisha mwaka moja umeisha sasa kanasema sitaki kutembea tena nataka kubebwa So this beautiful butterfly comes from, there are some struggle. No wonder the Bible says, for I reckon that the suffering of this present time is not worthy. I'm going to struggle because as I do presently, I'll be strong. I'll be strong in the Lord. I'll be strong. So what do we tell the devil? We tell the devil, even the evil that you thought could have gotten me, the Lord has helped me. Yes, it did not prevail against me. I am who I am by the grace of God. So Satan, shame on you because all power belongs to Jesus. That's what he tells me in Matthew 28, 18, that all power in heaven and earth, all power belongs to my Savior, Jesus Christ. He has promised that he will never leave us nor forsake us. Hebrews 13 and verse 5. Therefore, you will emerge. You will manifest. You will shine forth as a star and your glory shall not be silenced. Oh, somebody would have said amen. I know when I tell you, mutu aseme amen, you aseme. But why can't you say without? Uniunge mkono. Yeah, because manifestation It is waiting for that, groaning for that, but even now currently it's waiting because there is a lot of grace that you and I carry. The other examples two other examples that I'm going to use. It's a chicken and an eagle. We want to talk about manifestation. 
Now, the story of an eagle has, is a story that people give it different forms. There's one I heard of a farmer who in the forest saw an egg, carried the egg home, and it was hatched, and it became a bird, and he started eating with the chicken, and a scientist came who knows a little bit about the vet he was a vegetarian, so he saw the chicken, and he told the farmer, this is not a chicken, it's an eagle. And the farmer says, no, it is a chicken. The vegetarian said, no, 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 it is. I will show you. He spread the wings. The wings were longer than the chicken one, but this guy, when he was lifted so that he can fly, and looked down and saw the chicken, it went down there and continued chakula. Because it was not understanding what is happening. But the veterinarian said, it is still, this is an ego. The farmer said, no, I told you. So he came again and lifted it up and put it on top of the house and told you, ego, you have all the potential within you. Fly, spread your wing. And the ego just jumped back where the chicken was and continued eating whatever the chicken was eating. But he still says, this is an eagle, not a chicken. The farmer said, I told you, it is a chicken. In other words, it has been domesticated. He took it in the forest where there were no chicken. And he lifted the eagle. And the eagle, instead of looking down, looked up in the sky, saw the eagles. And it flew never to come back. In that story, what comes into my mind is that some of you we need to pull you away from your comfort zone so that the manifestation of the power of God can come. Because as you sit with other people, you have even agreed that this is normal, this is common, this is usual, everybody is doing it. That's what the ego could not fly. That, that is one story of the ego. But the story that I have of Ego is a farmer who was also in the forest, but he saw a chick. And when he found this chick, brought the chick home and threw it among his chicken. The Ego grew up doing what chickens do, living like a chicken, believing like a chicken, even though he was not a chicken. You are a Christian, you have been born again, but you are living like a chicken when you are an eagle. Behaving like a chicken when you are supposed to be an eagle. The potential is within you, but you are living like a chicken. The ego grew doing what chickens do, living like a chicken, believing he was a chicken, even though he was not a chicken. God created him to be an eagle. He had wings that could soar up. He had talons that could hunt, could hunt large prey. He had eyesight that could see for miles. But instead of being who he was created to be, he chose to peck ground and grain on the ground, living in a confined space and never venture more than a few yards from the chicken. He missed out a life that God had created for him. I told um, Shiloh last Sunday that we don't have egos in Kenya. We don't. There are some things you call egos, but they are not. They are hawk. They are not egos. Egos don't drive on dead things. They don't look for dead dogs and dead chicken and dead cat and dead what, dead what. Ego doesn't. See, Leona, my egos. Wengi, America, wana my ego. Wengi, Kwanza, Alaska. Egos. There are so many. And they don't eat dirt and rubbish. Kuna kasamaki kanaitwa salmon. Muna kajuaga. 
Yaani ukienda kwa hoteli unasema salmon unakatiwa ka kipande ka salmon I say So we went to Alaska in a place called Juno and there were eagles all over there were so many but they are next to a river that goes to into the ocean and then we ask our the guy who was the guiding us what were they waiting for because they were up on the trees on the poles and so on they were saying because of their eyesight they are not bothered by people they are looking at the waters and when they see a fish before the fish has gone back that bird comes and picks it up and akulaga ikiwa moto na ikiwa fresh those are eagles i don't know why i'm telling you all this but manifestation of the sons of god brings that story into my mind the ego was not made a chicken and it had to manifest itself as an ego so that the potential within it can lift it up above the chicken christian to anze hapo the chicken christian looking at a few characteristics of chicken christian a chicken christian enjoys seeing because chickens have their heads down their beaks are always busy on the rubbish or something else searching for scraps the chicken will eat dead things and in sparable fields and this is the life of a chicken a christian chicken or chicken christian he will always be found in uncleanness and righteousness iniquities day by day may the lord help us to know i was created for better things in the ship that i went with because again since you didn't come here nilienda na kiship kikubwa we were 4000 wale wateja walikuwa ngiri 4 na kila mmoja alikuwa na room ya kulala atukulala kwa floor nataka uimagine ngiri 4 tunakula huko kuna mahoteli ya kukura sote tunakula kuna vieta huko ukitaka sinema kuna baa nyingi ukitaka kukunywa na restaurant nyingi ukitaka kukula na, na kuna mall huko ukitaka kununua vitu are you getting the picture of that thing i did one mistake i went as a kenyan so it was expensive for the kenyan because you wait until you harbor then you ask what next then you meet guys that they charge you a lot to do any excursion but the people who had planned before wanatoka wanakuta basi ya kuagoja hapo wanaingia wanaenda excursion wanarudishwa sisi tumeona maajabu ya Musa na Aris kwa sababu ni wa Kenya hatukujipanga next time nikienda nitakuwa nimejipanga kwani kulalia masikio kitu cha pili nilifanya nilikula ka hoteli kamoja always nilifikiria ni kako tu niko naweza kula bure na sasa tukija kutoka ndio ninaambiwa hata hii ungekula aise hata ile ungekula mimi nilikaa kamoja tu kalikuwa na chakula ya kihindi sitakwambia and you know is it not the same for us here we are we have all the opportunity and we are allowed to go everywhere there was a theater for me to go for free i didn't go there was another restaurant i was to go dress up well like dinner you go for dinner i didn't dress up well i had only jeans and so on and there there are places that i ought to have gone but i didn't it is like the story of this person from where we come from don dori in kenya in the early 70s This woman is carrying waru on her kiondo 
and she's in a bus, but she has refused to take it out. Why? I mean, the, what you paid is for you and for your kyondo. Jesus paid it all. That's what we, we sang here a little while. In other words, yote imelipwa. Weka kiondo yako chini. Wacha kwenda na mzigo. Weka mzigo chini. Hallelujah. You know there are some things when you preach you feel, oh, I wish I can bring all of you na kiboko. Na tandika mukianza pandemoja yunes. Na tandika mtu anaweka kira. Mizigo chini. Kwa za umwe bebana and Christ has set you free. It's all yours. Hati unaingia ndege, unaretewa chakura, unasama mimi sikuli. Ukifika kuru unaenda, umechoka na umeenda 19 hours Australia. Umeretewa chakura maratatu. Sama. Alafu ukifika unasama, niko nanja unambio, chakura tulikuletea ukakata. I refuse if it is for me, here on earth, may the sons of God be manifested. That is the point. If I'm a child of God, let it be manifested to me. Amen. Unajua kuna watu, na hebu tu salimia jirani yako. Mwambia jirani, kuna watu hapa. Wakifika binguni, watafutu wa machozi. Eh. Hawatalia kwa vitu vigine, watalia kwa sababu wakifika, wataoni yo video. I say. Uonecho hile gari ilikuwa yako. Unalia. Uonecho nyumba ilikuwa yako. Unalia. Unafutu wa machozo na ambiwa pole, lakini umefika binguni. And I will, I will show you that in a little while. Although that time is not on my side, but I will show you in a little while. So this person lives that way. A chicken, Christian lives in bondage. If you look at the, the chicken, it is always working very hard because it knows that the time is short. Very soon, <laughs> very soon, yes, very soon, itakuwa kitoeo, I say. So it has to do all, it is doing very, very quickly and not forgetting everything else. And there are Christians that never rest. You want to work and die working. Why don't you take rest? Kwani ukienda? Unajua kuna watu wakienda live and attack wana nafungue ya store. Nikwambie ukweli. We ni mwizi. Nini unaficha hapo? Wapatie funguo zao. Siku utakufa tutafungua. Oh, this church is great. You know, the Bible says, this man works so hard to eat, but the food does not hold itself on the stomach. He toils so hard, but the Bible ends up by saying, but my beloved, I also give them sleep. Yani hata usiku lali, beloved, alapa usingizi. Yani una madhena iko mingi. Alafu ukilala, unalala. Unawacha dhena pale kwa sitting room, ukienda kwa bedroom, unalala. Na nyinyi watu wa Mungu mumeoa. Wacha kupeleka dhena kwa bedroom. Bedroom ni ya kulala. At sasa hiyo ndio kama story. Oh unajua yule alinifanya, oh yule alinifanya, oh yule ali... we sikiza neno la Mungu like we were told the other day here. Lala na neno. Sikiza neno. E, wacha neno liku Iwe lala bae yako. Sasa hizi pointi zitakuja tu. He lives in bondage. This person lives, he, he, he has fear in the presence of the Lord. The chicken would rather not fly to the mountain. It is too lazy and conditioned not to do so. A chicken Christian will not approach Mount Zion where holiness is demanded. Because of the many sins, consequently, he will not enjoy the deliverance available on Mount Zion. That is found in Obadiah chapter 1, verse 17. Can we see it? Because I want to be a person that can appropriate 
what deliverance is there for me. But on Mount Zion will be deliverance. It will be holy. And Jacob will possess inheritance. Chicken Christian, let's go to the mountain. Let's move where God is. Because he will deliver us. Hallelujah. This chicken Christian does not consider heaven home. Chicken travel in groups and are earth bound. They are there. They keep their eyes on the things of the world, never lifting up their heads to see him who is far above, far above. Hallelujah. Chicken are out of divine plan of God. This point when I saw it, I thought it's funny because this is true to some of you. You know, the story is told of this person who came and he had 2,000 shillings and he, he separated them. 1,000 on one pocket, the other 1,000 on another. So he had 1,000 for God, 1,000 for himself. But he had not identified which pocket is God and which pocket was his. So when he was coming, he met a guy with a knife, opened the knife and he said, bring your money. So the guy went to one pocket, removed the 1,000, gave it to the robber, and the robber left him. So when he came to church, he told the Lord, God, you understand. The bargain was 1,000 was yours, Yours was taken. That is a chicken Christian. Because when there are struggles, Arajivija, he doesn't want to face it on hard, or, 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 or head on. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. He has brief existence. That's a chicken. But an ego can live for 70 years. Chickens don't, do not live that long. So when we say there is life for Christians, it's because we say there is life because we are egos. We are going to live seven. No wonder the Bible says 70 years has been given to you if you are strong, 80 and above. But there are some of us that are going to the age of Moses. 120. Uniangalia hivi useme bishop uko kwa hatari. Ni 70. Ooh, 70. Bishop, unaingia 70. Siendi. Wewe. Yeah. To be an ego Christian then means to be a partaker of the divine nature of God. And through the Bible God likens himself and his children to an ego. He protects, he feeds, he teaches. His children are protected by the ego itself. He feeds them, he teaches the eaglets. And this is why we should seek to know and understand the life of an ego. And if we understand the life of an ego, it is going to help us. Exodus 19 verse 4. You have seen what I did to the Egyptians and how I bore you. An ego's wings and brought you to myself. You yourself have seen what I did to Egypt and how I carried you on eagle's wing and brought you to myself. That's what the Lord wants us to know, that even our safety is on the, wing, uh, the eagle's wing. This Christian is victorious. He's a person who overcomes. Isaiah 40 verse 31, we are called to be an eagle, not to crow or, or to be a sparrow. We are called to be an eagle. So that we can soar up into heaven and where the Lord has for us. An ego has strength and authority. The Hebrew word for ego, Nisha, means to tear down with the beak. The ego is the king of the birds and an international symbol of strength, beauty, authority, and freedom. The ego has about 7.5 7 feet width of its wings. It is a huge thing. The Thailands are four times greater and they are stronger. They can tear a rabbit into pieces. Oh, we bless the name of the Lord. Strength and authority. An ego Christian hungers for the word of God. So from birth, egos have a unique intimate and physical characteristics. They are born with their mouth open and their eyes looking into the sun so that they can face the sun. No problem would hinder us. Christians, let's face it. Let's face it. There is tension. 
And Paul says, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. But he says, no, 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 no. If I live, it is for you. And I will live because of you. But if I die, it is my own selfish. I'm going to have a crown of life. Hunger for the word of God. Hunger for the word of God. Their eyes are focused on God. Eagles are the only creatures that can look directly into the sun. They have two sets of eyelids. One is used for hunting, while the other is used to fly directly towards the sun. We see an ego Christian. He's full of trials and temptation, but this ego Christian can also fly directly to the sun, our Savior Jesus Christ, who is the Father of the light, and all lights come from him. Eagles also have very wonderful eating habits. They are very wise as to watch what they consume. Eagles cannot digest everything they eat. So things like hair and bones accumulate in the craw, so it doesn't eat those. No wonder somebody sang a long time ago when I was growing up from where I come from. And he said, Mutika Nanyue Maria Jiraima. That means don't just go taking water everywhere you see. Stagnant water. It can be poisonous for you. Those are eagles. But the birds you see, the hawks and the crows, they take Maria Jiraime. That's what they feed on. You know what? My time is up. But I will take a, two other minutes. And when I say two, it could be 10 or 20, but two other minutes. Emergence of the sons of God, Romans 8, 19. For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. Therefore, a son can still end up as a servant. Just as we, we, we see in the ego chicken, the ego became a chicken. The chicken uh, controlled the ego until the ego decided I'm going to fly like my, friend, my brothers. So a son can still end up as a servant. You are a son, manifest yourself as a son. But a son, there is no automatic you turning around, but you're going to pull the potential that you have from within you. And I have proof for this, and I have said it, and I will say it again. Galatians 4. In Galatians 4, starting from verse number 1, the Bible says, Now I say that the heir, or the son, as long as he is a child, hmm? as long as he has a child, or you call him underage, he is not different from the slave, although he owns everything, but he has no clue he has it. Verse number 2. The hair is subject to guy, guy, guardians and trustees until the time set by his father. Yani, anandua kachini, anakachini, endi emonyamali. Wow. Verse number three. So also, when we were underage, we were in slavery under the elemental spiritual forces of the world. Listen, verse number four. But when the set time had fully come, it first came Sent, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, verse number five, to redeem those under the law that we might receive adoption to sonship. In other words, I am a son and I refuse to stay under age. I want to grow. Because when you grow, then you can inherit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That I, you, you can, and when you mature up, then you ask what is yours and it is given to you. May the Lord help us to mature so that we can receive what is ours. I'm so conscious about time. Nilikuwa nikwambia unipe dakika 2 nikasema zitakuwa 20. Ninawaangalia ninaona hii baridi yote. Si afadhali nimalize. Wacha ni Wacha nimalize. It will be a tragedy. For you 
to travel 19 hours in a plane and not enjoy what your ticket supplies for you. It will be a tragedy for seven days to be in a ship and you don't enjoy what you paid for. It is... I don't know whether they had better food, but I was saying, those kind of things. But I want to pray for you. Because that will be better so that I can finish. So that you can emerge, you can manifest our sons of God. I want you to stand. I want to pray for you. And I will be praying scripture for you. Hallelujah. And I want you to close your eyes as we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for your faithfulness. Because your word says, faithful is he that has promised us. You have promised us. And therefore, Father, on behalf of this congregation, I pray that God, our Father, of your unfailing promise over each one of the people that have listened to, to me, that God, you're going to open a door for every man that has been shut. This day, Heavenly Father, may you open that door to that woman that has been seeking for door to be open. May it open perpetu perpetually. May the doors of your prosperity, of your health, and your financial breakthrough open before your people. In Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, may you destroy every force that would want to submerge anyone listening to me in the ocean of doubts and fear in Jesus' name. Father, please rebuke a storm over every life today that is hovering around anyone listening to me in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, may you cripple every fear not, so that it will not stop people to, not to lift up the name of Jesus in the lives and places where they find themselves. I want to read another scripture. Ezekiel 21, 27 says, I will overturn, overturn, overturn it. And it shall be no more until he come who's right. It is, and I will give it to him. Father, oh God, we pray that you will overturn every siege and every agenda of the devil by fire. The prince of Persia and every stronghold, we bring it down over our lives in Jesus' name. Father, on behalf of every member here, I refuse that any of their family member will be swallowed up in the storm that is hitting the nation today. Heavenly Father, everyone listening to me, I pray, they will have amazing testimonies of the victory of the Lord in their lives. I prophesy that every step they take this week, every move they take this week, every endeavor they embark upon this week, the Lord will be with them. God be with them. Therefore, they cannot fail. They cannot fall in Jesus' name. Father, may you make this week good for us. We want to fly like an eagle. May we manifest as sons of God. For this is our prayer today. In Jesus' name, and everybody say, Amen. Amen. Amen.